Hi, everybody, and welcome from the Eddie Edgar Arena here in Livonia, Michigan, for another exciting round of high school hockey. Tonight, featuring the Patriots of Livonia Franklin hosting the Vikings of Wall Lake Central. This is Neil Rifkin along with Bill Tyler bringing you all the play-by-play -play action. Bill should have a good matchup between uh, these two KAA, KLAA writers. <laughs> it should be a good game. Uh, Livonia Franklin uh, is riding a little, little bit of a crest right now. They're playing real well. They beat uh, Ann Arbor Gabriel Richard on uh, Wednesday night when we were doing the other hockey game. Yep. And uh, they've got uh, five victories already this year. They're five, four, and one. And uh, Wall Lake Vikings are five, five, and oh. Frank start out. Franklin in the purple, Wall Lake Central in the yellow, and Franklin ran out the bat is putting pressure inside the Viking zone. And Central goaltender Sam Wozniacki making the quick stop, and just like that, Franklin went in the face up and putting on the early pressure. And we have Matt. Menendo down in the other end. He's been playing real well this year. Shot from the blue line there by, it looks like the captain there, Brandon Whitney, number seven. Again, face off deep inside the central zone. Now Brandon's been out for a while, but he's back. This is his first game back in uh, two, three weeks. I'm going to stand corrected. It was Mikowski with that shot from the blue line. But nevertheless, here comes Franklin again. And now that was Whitney. Whitney. That is Whitney, number seven. Yes. Yep. Pass over to Trevor last line. And again, Wozniacki has to make the stop. Good early, early game pressure by the Patriots. I haven't seen the Patriots this year. Um, you mentioned you came and, and watched them uh, last month. Yep, when they played uh, Ann Arbor Huron and, All right. and beat them 6-4. to four. Okay. And compared to the past where we, didn't, we <clears throat> talked about the skill, this team passes well, skates well, and when, it take, when there's an opportunity on the power plate, they'll take it. They've got a nice group. I think for the first time, Coach Gagnon's got more upperclassmen than uh, underclassmen on his varsity roster here. He's got 13 juniors on the team. 13 juniors yes. and eight and six seniors. Yes. So yep. it's uh, definitely an upper class dominated roster this year. Central holding it in finally over the blue line it goes and here comes Franklin now. Now Zach Nelson, number 24, had it, lost it. And the puck go, goes behind the Franklin zone. Now here come the Patriots. Quick change for the Vikings. Nelson. Coach, Coach quit a quit getting, uh, getting another line out there really fast. That's Jake Disatel's number two had it lost it. Now the Vikings will dump it in. Monendo will just steer it away. Nick Anderson trying to bring it out, had it stolen there by number 17, Sean Rutledge. And it's dumped inside the Franklin zone. Vikings making line change right now. Ryan Callis, a lot of speed there, number seven on the Vikings. And name and number will keep a look out. He's, their, he's the Central's number one scorer. Yes, he is. And again, Vikings will dump it in. Pressure now put on by number 19, Cam Stevenson. And no icing. Brandon Joyner, number 20, has it. Joyner over to Callis. Joyner again. Joyner will just dump it in the corner. Callis racing for it now. But beaten to the puck by uh, Kobe Dewhurst, number eight. Franklin trying to clear it, held in though by Central. There's a shot. Menendo makes the initial stop. Callis had it, was right there for the rebound, missed it. Over on the near side now. As a the nice Patriots. breakout pass by Whitney. Here come the Patriots now with their top line. There's a shot right on by Wasseline. 
Puck now behind the central net. Puck goes in the corner and the Vikings will take it. Good job there by last line, Trevor last line number 11. Fighting for that puck. Giving Callis a hard time. Finally cleared the center ice. Alex Kakovas knock, knocks it into the corner for Central. And here come the Patriots the other way. Uh oh. Tended pass there for <laughs> last line. Yeah, you, can't just, you just can't lay that puck in the, in the slot area like that. Bellavender now leading the rush for Wald Lake. And now taken by Brendan Nutting, number nine for Franklin. Intended pass for Salisbury. Nick Salisbury, number two, just a bit too far. And again, the puck is dumped inside. Deep inside the Franklin, uh, Franklin zone. Into the corner it goes. Going after it now. Justin Mikowski, number two. He'll lift it back to center ice. Here comes a Franklin break now. Two on one. Yep. Look at that. Open pass there for Salisbury. A little too hot. Yep. Salisbury held in by Mikowski. Mikowski pinching in from the point. And we got a stoppage in the action here. I think the net came off the moorings with exactly 12 minutes left in this first period. Five minutes already into this hockey game. And we will play just three 17-minute periods in case there's a tie at the end of regulation. That is it. No overtime. And one thing I have to admit that we were talking before we went on the air, the numbers are very easy to see tonight. Yes, very easy to see tonight. And um, the Franklin... Franklin uh, Patriots are, are sporting their uh, purple out jerseys. Yep, and we'll explain more as uh, time permits. As we go back to the action. That's Nothing a, wrong with your television set. They're not wearing their normal red, white, and blue. No, <laughs> no this is good. This is nice. Brandon Whitney knocks it back in. How he has it again. Correction, Mikowski and... Mm, offside. Yep. I wonder how much ice Whitney's going to get tonight, being his first game back. Coach, Coach Gagnon was saying that um, he was okayed by the doctor um, to come back, but uh, they thought it might be best to wait a few days. The athletic trainer at uh, Franklin, so they uh, they kept him out of the uh, Gabriel Richard, Richard game. game. Okay. Probably give him a couple more minutes tonight. Maybe, yeah. Maybe yeah. Maybe. I'm sure he's been practicing. Oh, sure. But there's nothing like game speed, as you well know. Very aggressive on the four check. Puck taken by Corey Lisner, number 19, as Franklin regroups. And I like right now that they're maintaining control in the neutral zone. Too. Yeah. Putting on some pressure. Like these are these are two well matched teams. Should be a good game. Puck rolling down to the other end now. Race for it between Johnny Parkinson, number 21. Delayed offside against Central. You know, the, the Patriots uh, completed the uh, Ann Arbor trifecta. They beat all three high schools. They yep. beat uh, they beat Huron, as you mentioned. They yep. they beat Gabriel Richard, and they beat Skyline. And I'll tell you, the game, I, when I saw them play against Huron, what was so nice, uh, the passing, the great skills in passing the puck, they took advantage of the, the power play. Mm -hmm. I'd say... I think three, four, or there were six goals in that game came off of the, the main advantage. Well, it's good to have so many upperclassmen on the team. Another icing call on Central. I think this is uh, Coach Dennis's third or fourth year at, at Franklin, and it's good to see the program getting a little traction yep. and uh, a little stronger each year. I saw Coach Jobbit. Before the game, there he's here him. watching. Glad to have him here in person. And uh, also not only former coach of the Franklin High School hockey team, but also of the Lavonia Police Department hockey team. There too. we go. Glad that he's here and let's go back to the action. That's number 14, William White. Had wow. it, lost it. Now knocked to the ground by, by uh, Whitney. And here comes Franklin the other way. It's Whitney leading the rush. Brandon Whitney. Well, I, I can imagine that he was missed looking at his skating ability and puck handling ability. Oh, sure. 
Offside. Whitney. Oh, nice pass. Cross he had his head up. Cross ice pass for Wallace. Chase Wallace, number 16. Now the Patriots have had an opportunity to change. And here comes Central the other way. Cam Stevenson leading the rush down the left side, and the shot goes a bit wide. Stevenson recovers, going into the corner, battling with both Salisbury and Nutting, and Franklin comes out with it. Salisbury, Salisbury down the right side, centering pass, covered up by Wozniki. And the faceoff will stay deep inside the central zone. Tended pass for Zach Nelson. is a little too short there. But let's see what Franklin can do with the opportunity with 9-19 remaining in this opening period. Franklin winning the faceoff held in by Parkinson. No. <laughs> There's a race for the puck there. Number 25, Jordan Gal. Racing after it, had it, lost it. Colby Dewhurst played that about as well as he could. Nick Wood for Central holds it in, had it, lost it. Franklin takes it the other way. Here they come. Nelson lost the handle of it. And it good job by Nick Wood. There's a shot that's deflected. Racing for it. Nutting. Held in by Franklin. Here's a chance now by Nutting. Nutting coming in. It was playing green. Good stop by Waz. Was Nikki Franklin maintaining control here, and the puck looks like hit the netting, and we'll have a faceoff still right inside the Wild Lake Central Zone. Pretty evenly played, partner. Yeah, good game on both ends. Both teams putting on a little pressure. Well, they're going to bring the faceoff just outside the central blue line. Nice breakout. Brandon Joyner takes it now. Joyner leading the rush. And Franklin will take it the other way. White had it lost and now taken by Jackson Esterline, number 21. Central trying to get out of their own zone. Now they do. Now leading the rush is Connor Stevenson, number three. He'll dump it into the corner. Yeah. Connor Stevenson, number three, and brother Cam, number 19. Crush it. Puck now behind the Franklin net. Going after it now. That's uh, Esterline. Esterline. As the puck rolls along the boards. I'm right in front Lindner. of the Franklin. There we go. Yep. And puck goes down to the other side here. Right behind the central net. You get some tired Patriots out there. They need to change. Whitney's shot goes, goes a bit wide, and the puck is cleared back to center ice. Vikings will make a change here. Now, Callis. Callis comes in, tries to get behind. He's got his pocket pick. Yep, good job there. Number eight, Colby Dewhurst. Neat as could be. Franklin Coolis can, and Franklin Coolis can be in their own zone. Yep. Uh -oh. Turnover right here. Here's a... Open chance right there. And couldn't hold it in. No, no. Great chance for a shot right on Menendo, but Central does not prevail. Franklin able to clear it. Nelson had it, lost it, held in by Justin Norman, number 18 for Central. Now the puck comes back to center ice. Dewhurst sends it back to center ice. Mm. And the pass goes a little too far. Now Wallace, Chase Wallace had it, lost it. As the puck goes the other way. Mm. Nope, held in. Here comes Franklin one more time. Nelson with a backhanded shot that goes wide. And the puck is... Dump back inside the Franklin zone, going after it. Colby Dewhurst, number eight, sends it back to center ice as Franklin makes a line change. Joyner. And Central will just dump it in. 
Held at the point by the Vikings. Astor line, Joiner trying to hold it in. Central and Franklin will just clear it. Joiner. Now we're to Astor line. Nelson. Nelson back to Lisner. Franklin. A little give and go there at the blue line. Nelson over in the far corner. Loses his stick. And to control the cock, eh, puck with the skate, but here comes Central breaking out. And Offside. the Lavender knocked it inside the Franklin zone. Oh no, there. no, we got a we got a penalty coming up. Yep. Number 24, Sam. Nelson got a hook. So Central will go on the power play. 4:53 remaining in this first period. Good pass there by Ooh, Orman. That was nicely shot. set up. Central with their top line out there. Orman with a shot from the left wing, and that goes wide. You know, Franklin's got to stay disciplined in the box. Looks like they got Spence and uh, Cam Stevenson out there as well on that power play for Wild Lake. And, and Callis is out there as well, Ryan Callis. So it looks like you got Wood, Callis, Spence, Orman, and Stevenson out there for Central with the, with the extra attacker. Lisner and Anderson out there for Franklin trying to kill this penalty. Central now. Here we go. Stevenson. And it lost, and Franklin will clear it. Vikings will go for a line change here. Well, that's not good for them. 40 seconds remaining in the Nelson penalty. Shot. Uh, Central goes wide. Held in, though, by Kokovis. Alex Kokovis, number eight. Back to the point to Esterline. Esterline, his shot goes deflected into the corner. Franklin's staying very disciplined. They're not, they're not chasing too badly. And they're not bunching up either. Correct. Esterline, Esterline, shot. Misfired uh, there. Jordan Gale swings and misses. Esterline one more time. His shot, Rister, and that's cleared. Mm -hmm. Penalty is over. Puck back in the corner now. Franklin looking to clear it. That's Salisbury, Salisbury. Turns it over, and it goes back to center ice. Asterline as, better be careful. That's yeah, uh, as, a, as a coach, the uh, first shift after a penalty, and usually you've got your best players out there on the power play. Oops, a delayed penalty here again to Franklin. I think it's going to be against the uh, last line. But we'll see. Kokovas takes it in for... Central. But what I was going to say is yeah. your, your your best kids are tired, so you got to watch the next shift. But uh, we're going to have another power play here. So the penalty-killing group of uh, Franklin is going to get another workout. And it is last line going to the penalty box. Did they get him for high sticking. So, yep. yeah. So once again, Wild Lake Central goes on the power play. And it's their top line once again. Wood, Callis, Spence, Orman, Stevenson. Here they nicely set up. Here's a shot by Orman. Well, Menendo played that well. Battle now in the corner. You got to be quick. You know, he got from one post to the other. 
Spence had it. Now back out to the blue line it goes. And Franklin will clear it. Good play there by Nelson. 119 remaining in this opening period. Good job there by Chase Wallace. Going after that puck, but here comes Central one more time. Stevenson. Over to Orman. Back to Stevenson. Back to, looks like Callis. Callis. Over on the right wing, Callis. And no, no, nobody there. going to the net. This no. is uh, <laughs> interesting. Back out to the point. I mean, Franklin's happy to have him take these shots around the edge. There's a rebound. Shot by Jordan initially, and Callis was right there. Tried to put the rebound in, but Matt Menendo comes up with the stop. That's what they're looking for. I mean, good job by Central passing that puck around. Oh, yeah, the, but uh, uh, Frank, Franklin's happy to let him pass it around yeah. the perimeter like that. Kill some time off the clock. 29 seconds left in the Franklin penalty. 34 seconds left uh, in this opening period. Franklin again winning the faceoff as the puck goes into the Franklin bench. Faceoff outside the zone. Good job by Nelson again. Esther line trying to find a teammate. Does not. Puck now goes back to center ice. Joiner back up to Bellavender. Bellavender around the net. Final seconds of this period. Penalty over. Joiner, his shot. That will go wide and that will do it. So lots of good action here in this opening period. And after 17 minutes of play, it's no score. Franklin nothing and Wall Lake Central nothing. And here's Franklin captain Brendan Whitney talking more about the Purple Out Night. My name is Brendan Whitney and I'm the captain for the Livonia Franklin Patriots hockey team. And I am also one of the junior leaders for the Relay for Life Committee of the National Honor Society. We're calling it the Purple Out Hockey Game. We've been working on it for about four months now. It all started at one of the first uh, National Honor Society meetings, and they said they wanted to do a benefit game, and since I was a part of the hockey team, I said, well, the hockey team should do it and get more involved in everything. The American Cancer Society, they define purple as the color representing all cancers, and so rather than just doing a specific cancer and maybe pulling in less revenue for them, we just wanted to do the whole thing and see how much we could raise. The response has been really cool. All the parents are really supportive. All the students in the school are getting really hyped for it. And it's just a great thing to be a part of now, especially with the custom jerseys donated, the socks donated. People are taking favors and doing special things for us, and it's really cool. This game is special because all proceeds from our bake sale, 50-50 raffle, and t-shirt table are all going to go towards the American Cancer Society through the Relay for Life that our school is putting on later in the year. And so it's really cool because everyone at the school all bought shirts and we all did a lot of effort to raise money so that we could give them a nice check. Up, college is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up so every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. <laughs> my name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. Do you wear this? Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the second period of this high school hockey matchup right here on Sports Spotlight featuring Livonia Franklin and Wall Lake Central. This is Neil Rifkin along with Bill Tyler. It's no score. And, Bill, you got the coaches for both yeah. teams. First for the Wall Lake Central Vikings, a head coach, um, Mr. Gary Quittiquit. Had a nice chat with uh, Gary for the game. He has a number of assistants, Jim Alley, Terry Laskowski is the goalie coach, and Mark Lazar is uh, the JV coach. He's also helped out by Ari Berlin. 
The uh, principal of uh, Wall Lake Central is uh, Charles Morgan, and the AD is Michael Frey. As we begin the second period here, Franklin again, once putting on the pressure, that is yeah, Franklin, Franklin uh, you know, they've, they've been on the penalty kill for the last four minutes, so uh, they haven't had any chance to, you know, do anything offensively since the first half of the first period. Yep. And Menendo will make a gloves. Nope, nope. Puck went into the netting there, and the faceoff will remain inside the Franklin zone. So over on the Livonia Franklin side, uh, has head coach Mr. Dennis Gagnon, um, <laughs> he's assisted by... Jimmy Harms, Steve Piccoli, and uh, Tyler Morrison. He has uh, several managers um, for the team. Brendan Nev, uh, Jonah Pollock, Clinton Smythe, and Trevor Van Vallette. The uh, principal at uh, Franklin is uh, Dan Willenberg. And the AD is a uh, longtime friend, Ron Hammy. There's an attempted wraparound by Zach Nelson, and then that comes up the moorings. As the action stops. And I, I should also mention, uh, Dennis asked me to mention it on the air, that uh, the, the special uniforms and socks uh, for the first purple out uh, were provided by Incorporated Graphics, Inc. from Garden City and D&D &D Bicycle and Hockey of Westland. Well, here we go back to the action just a moment ago. Franklin had a chance with a backhanded pass by Salisbury that went through the little crease. Now here comes Central the oh, other way. Could have called a penalty there over yep. the back. Held in by Sp Nico Spence. Now oh, back to... Vikings are buzzing. What oh, a nice tip. Menendo makes the stop and I think Callis, Ryan Callis was right on the doorstep. Nope, correction on that. That was oh, William White right there. But nevertheless, face off deep inside the Franklin zone. Both, both. Ryan Callis is out there. In fact, both teams got their production lines out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Puck now drawn in the corner as. The Patriots will try to clear it. And of course, as we've said many times, the second period usually tells the difference in a hockey game. Oh, well, there's Mr. Whitney right there. And the intended pass. You have those long changes. Ryan Callis battling for that puck. Intended pass and for Dewhurst went too far. Here come, here come the Vikings the other way. Pressure now inside the Patriots and zone. Kind of taking this game over. Callis. Centering pass going on his knee for that shot was Kokovas, excuse me. And here come the Patriots Franklin the other way. bunching up a little bit there. Yeah. Disatel's fan on the here shot. Here comes once again. There's a shot that goes wide. Joyner honing it in for the Vikings, and Menendo will make another stop. Man, nope. Coach Gagnon's seen enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next five. Line change right here. I asked him before the game what, what was the strategy against Stevenson because Franklin, of course, picked up their first point against Stevenson in, what, two decades? Yeah, since 1996. Yep. And his... The plan was to keep the puck along the boards. Okay. Simple as that. It's a simple plan. Here comes Mikowski now leading the rush and Wozniki, Sam Wozniki making the stop. We certainly haven't had to call Sam's name too much tonight. Nope. Yeah, that was uh, quite, a, quite a game. I understand that uh, Menendo did an excellent job between the pipes and uh, I would have allowed Franklin to pick up a point against uh, Stevenson. Here comes Rutledge now. Sean Rutledge would dump it in right behind the Franklin net. Held in by Nick Wood. Number five for the Vikings. Now 
William White had it, lost it, and Franklin will clear it back to center ice. Central trying to maintain control, but here comes Nutting now, bringing it over the blue line. Had it, lost it. Puck now taken by Nico Spence. Spence leading the rush for the Vikings, and Monendo will glove it. I would presume Monendo faced at least, <laughs> at least 40, 50 shots he against him. He must have. He must have. As you know, that's a very talented group uh, that, uh, that they've got at Stevenson this year. But that, that is a high watermark for, uh, for the Patriots. It's been a while since they've been able to take points from, uh, from Stevenson. Well, the faceoff will stay inside the Franklin zone. Um, Patriots have done pretty well this year. You know, they've uh, they've scored more goals than they've given up. They've scored 40, and they they've given up 30. So 10 games, even I can do the math. Yeah. That's uh, they're averaging four goals a game, and and they're meant to be. They're no, well, looks like he had it frozen on, <laughs> yeah, on the goal line. Yeah. Looking on the monitor here, didn't get a close-up. The Vikings were all raising their sticks in the air. <laughs> claiming a goal, but it... That's how you coach them, you know? Yeah. They make it look like it went in. <laughs> Help the referee out. Well, they do it in the NHL, yeah, of too. Of course they do. <laughs> Face off in, in the circle to the right of Matt Menendo. But the, the big thing, uh, I mean, I think you alluded to it, the yeah. passing and in, in, in the crisp play of the Patriots, but I, I think uh, they shored up the defense quite a bit. Oh, sure. Part of it's, uh, you know, the goaltending. Menendo is a four-year, and he's a senior this year. Mm -hmm. Last of line now, taking it Two for Franklin. One. Here's a shot that goes high. Yep. And the puck rolls back to center ice. Anderson over to Whitney. Whitney. Oh, look, look at the speed. Whitney coming in down the right side. Whitney coming in. And a shot goes wide. He passed up the, the shot to pass it back. And didn't quite connect. Puck now dumped in the corner. I think it was intended for Wallace, and Central will clear it. And going the other way, that's Cam Stevenson. Stevenson down the left side. Stevenson being challenged by two defenders, including Brandon Witten. And we have another penalty. Waving somebody. I think it might be Lasseline here. Let's see. No. It's, it's Mr. Lasseline one more time. All right. So third Franklin penalty. None thus far for that was Central. Called, that was called by the linesman that was behind the play. So I, I didn't see what uh, what the infraction was. Two-minute minor penalty. Nevertheless, here comes Wald Lake. On this the, is the third power play they've had to kill off. Joiner with it from the top of the key. His shot. Big rebound. And then they'll stop at Esterline. When you get an opportunity to clear the puck, you've got to hammer that thing. You don't pass it to the blue line. You hammer it. Yep. Krakovis out there along with... Uh, Belavender Bel out there. <laughs> easy for you to yeah, say, Easy partner. for me to say, yeah. <laughs> The Lavender, thank you. Okay. Joiner. Back to Osterline. Pass intended for Bellavender. Now the puck over on the far side. Kokovis had it. Now it's behind the Franklin net. You now the Vikings have had control of it the whole time. Nope. And, and look at it. And it goes back to center ice. And being so spread out, like you mentioned, on the, I think it was the second penalty, it's killing time off the clock. Has to puck deep inside the central zone. You got nutting out there, fresh legs. Franklin doing a good job holding that puck in. Here comes central the other way. You get some tired Patriots out there. And the Vikings making a line change too, but here they come. Callis. He's not going to get out. 
Back to Wood. Wood, his shot deflected into the corner. And Patriots staying fairly disciplined. Just a couple seconds remaining in the penalty. There's a shot by Wood, that's deflected. Penalty over to Lasseline. Franklin back at full strength. Here come the Patriots clearing it. Wood trying to get his team on side. They are. Stevenson on the left wing. Now behind the Franklin net. Stevenson attempted wrap around. Falls could've, to the ice. Called another penalty yep, there for tripping. Thing. Yep. Held in by White. And the puck. Dump behind the front oh, they, just, they just look a little slow to me. Yep. Rutledge tries to keep it in, can't. Puck goes back to center ice, but Central will control it. Pass back to Spence. And as the battle stays right at the Central blue line, and here come the Vikings now. Good job there by Jack Gores, knocking that puck away, forcing it into the corner. Shot goes wide and around the boards it comes and here comes Franklin. I get some changes here. Here we go, defense got off. Salisbury. Salisbury trying to do a little wrap around and Wozniki makes the stop. 8.46 remaining in the second period, still no score. Face off will be deep inside the Wild Lake Central zone. Dennis Gagnon sends, sends out his top line one more time. Here comes Central the other way. Jordan Gal has the puck strip. Uh oh, here's trouble. Disatel had it. His shot is wide. Held in, though, by Bellavender. Rap backhanded shot. Good job there by Menendo with the stop. Dissatels holds it in at the blue line. Gal, his shot back to Joyner and came Joyner. down. <laughs> came down. Yep. Called the infield fly rule. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's out in front. That's not good. And Menendo makes the stop. Wow. Yeah, Franklin bunching up a little bit that there. They are. That they are, and the Vikings are really, really starting to take over. Especially in the second period, you need you need to be in the offensive zone to keep fresh legs on the ice. And uh, so far, the Vikings have done an excellent job at it. And Franklin's kind of backed up in their own zone. Face off the one by Franklin. Oh, nice, nice break out there. Here they come. That Salisbury down the right side. It's got Nelson with them, and the pass goes too far. Here One comes and Central. done, you know, and then the Central comes right back in. That's Callis, Ryan Callis. Got his head up, looking to pass the puck. Well, I think he was looking for Cam Stevenson, who was right there, right on the... Oops. Oh, no call. No call. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stevenson has it. His shot goes to the side of the nut. Callis has it again. Centering pass for, this time for... Orman goes too far. Held in, though, by Central. Pass for Callis goes a little bit too far. Callis trying, trying to pass it to trouble. Now taken by Stevenson. Held in. Stevenson holding it in. He still can't get it out. Spence Wrong over guy. to Callis. There's a Wrong shot. Guy. <laughs> Callis right there with Steven. There's a shot. Better be careful. Callis with a backhanded shot. They there score. You, yeah, you knew that was coming. Yep. On the rebound. Both Callis and Stevenson. Cam Stevenson, great yeah. position, Bill. Oh, and yeah. They, they, they had the right position. A big rebound. And uh, Menendo was uh, out of position to make the save. Here we go. Good pinch in. Good hard shot. Back to the point, yep. slap shot, hard and low. And you can see number seven. Rebound right there, Menendo out of position, just over the outstretched 
pads. And in case Callis missed it, Cam Stevenson was right there right too. Right there too, yeah. So Central gets the first goal of the game and they lead it one to nothing. Here's another chance right there. Still pressure deep inside the Franklin zone. Another shot right on goal. Menendo making the stop. Six nineteen remaining in the second period. And I think we're gonna have uh, a Wall Lake penalty coming up. Number 14, William White. All right, well, we'll see what the uh, Patriot power play can do here. And the power play is going to be led by number seven, Mr. Whitney. Mm -hmm. Central will clear it. Let's see if Franklin can regroup on their first man advantage. And here they come. Wallace will dump it in. And Wozniki will not take a chance. He covers up. All right. Well, they killed uh, 15 seconds off the penalty. And another face off down in the offensive zone for Franklin. Frank Franklin will have Whitney, Lasseline, and Wallace up front. Both of these goalies do a pretty good job, partner. I, yeah. I was looking uh, at the uh, the Michigan Hockey Hub website, and uh, they're both right around 90%. But no data for power play or penalty kill. Well, if, well you figure their goals against, goals against averages at least right around two goals, as we see Wozniki again making the stop on that shot from Yeah, the both, both of these teams are, are, are very similar. Um, the, um, the Vikings are, are scoring goals at a, at a clip of 3.8 per game, and they're giving up 2.9. So uh, very similar to Franklin, with about a one goal differential. There's another faceoff win. Nelson winning that faceoff for Franklin, but it's dumped back to center ice. And we'll get the speed here in number three. Connor Stevenson. Connor Stevenson doing a good job on this penalty kill. One yeah. minute remaining in the Franklin power play. You put your good skaters out there when you're trying to kill a penalty. Nutting now, Brandon Nutting over to Dewhurst. Dewhurst into the corner and behind the net he goes. Dewhurst doesn't have any teammates around except back at the point. Over to Nelson. Nelson it down. Back to Mikowski. Mikowski with a wrister. And that's blocked. Got a shot on goal out of that. Oops. And Mikowski. Oh, here we There's go. a chance. <laughs> it jumped One right step up. away from a breakaway. Sean Rutledge out there on that penalty kill for Central. Killing time. 15 seconds remaining in the Central penalty. And the pass goes a bit too far for Nelson. That's an icing. No, nope, they didn't call it. Bucknell back in back inside the central zone. Penalty over. Central back at full strength. Buck. Central failing to clear it. Blocker save. Good job there by, I think it was Mikowski again. The Vikings will dump and change here. They're pretty tired. Correction, that was Parkinson. Yeah, and they will go for a line change right now. But Central holds it in. There's a chance, and the puck cleared to the, cleared to the side. Here come the Vikings again. Puck along the board, centering pass. And the net will come off the board. Face off will stay inside the Franklin zone. 321 remaining in this second period. Well, 
the next goal is going to be huge, Burner. Yep. I mean, Franklin's winning the faceoffs. They're winning faceoffs, but they're not uh, capitalizing. They, they're getting you know one shot and they're out of the zone. I mean, it's kind of one and done. Yep. Like right there, nobody in front. And then here, here come the Vikings breaking out. Yep. Face off is going to be down deep. Nope, outside the blue line. Now the Vikings are skating a little better. We have witnessed, and for our viewers at home, Wall Lake Central putting on the pressure early on in the Franklin zone, but here comes Franklin the other way. Can they capitalize? Well, they, they had those three uh, power plays, and uh, yep. and Franklin's only had the one. Dewhurst pass for that last line, just a bit too far, now taken by Wood. Wood. His pass up to Kokovas, too far. Here comes Franklin the other way. Two on one. Wallace, his shot. And that good opportunity there. A bit wide. Intended for, uh -oh. intended for the last line. There's a shot. The lead by Kokovas that goes high. Here comes Franklin the other way. It's Whitney now breaking out. Whitney down the right side. Whitney trying to get beyond Nick Wood. Boy, he made a nice pass. You, you can see how valuable Brandon Whitney is to this team. Oh, sure. He had 10 assists on the year, 20 points, 10 assists. And that was a good backhanded pass, too. That was great. Right. It was right on the tape. Whitney's going to clear it, and he does. Uh-oh. That's a nice. Icing call on Franklin. Face off back inside the Patriots zone with 137 remaining. He's the kind of forward you want to be. You want to be on his line. Oh sure, and always setting you up. You know, memory serves me right. When we saw him play in the Squirt Division, I think it was for the Squirt Kings. He was a top scorer and top yeah. uh, playmaker as well. Yes, he was. Well, here comes Nutting now, down the other way. Nutting with Salisbury. Uh oh. And that's cleared back at center ice. Mikowski now. Over to Nelson. Nelson had it, lost it, stripped. Another puck. And Callis is back out there with the lone goal. Making that pass. Central putting on the pressure. That's White now. White trying to wrap around. Poking it in on the side of the net. And puck is cleared. Less than a minute left in the second period now. There's a shot taken by Franklin. Now Central will take it. Callis, he's got Stevenson to his right. And three on two there. And Stevenson was <laughs> looking for the rebound. Again, Wald Lake deep inside their own zone, controlling the puck as Franklin making a line change here in the final moments. Of the second stanza. Cal is still out there for Wald Lake. Here's a shot, and Monendo point blank makes the stop. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. The Vikings have owned the second period. Yeah. Have the only goal in only, the hockey game. Only goal and, and more and more shots on Momendo too. No question. So that will do it for the second period as Wild Lake Central gets on the board first. A goal scored by their top goal scorer, Ryan Callis. And after two periods of play, it's the Vikings of Wild Lake Central one and the Patriots of Livonia Franklin nothing. Stay tuned. More hockey action coming up right here on Sports Spotlight, so stay tuned. Listen to me, I am captain of the track team. 
And, and if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah. I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. Texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Welcome back to the start of the third period right here on Sports Spotlight. High School Hockey featuring the Patriots of Livonia Franklin and the Vikings of Wild Lake Central. This is Neil Rifkin along with Bill Tyler. It's Central 1, Franklin nothing. And Bill, we've got to acknowledge the backup goal. Oh, yeah. Team. The, one of the most difficult jobs in sports, of course, is being the, the backup goalie. Um, and uh, the, the goalie that's not starting tonight for the Vikings is number 35, Jacob Butler. And for uh, the Patriots is uh, number one, Brian Hubbard. I uh, got a note from uh, Coach Gagnon uh, today that said uh, Brian played in net uh, earlier this week when they were in Ann Arbor playing Gabriel Richard at Yost Ice Arena yep. and uh, did well, got the win. Thrill for those kids being the home ice for the U of M hockey program. That's a great place to, to play. Nice ice. And a lot of history there. Oh. There's a long story about that, but I'm going to hold off for another time. All right. As we go back to the action. Well, it's time for the Patriots to uh, get going here. Well, we just saw in the opening faceoff, Central won it, and Ryan Callister, big gun, who's got the lone goal to, in the game thus far, uh, went on Manendo with a shot with uh, Justin Orman to his side. and He's had a lot of opportunities tonight. <laughs> so let's see what Franklin can do right here, and Sam Wozniki, the Wally goaltender, central goaltender that is, making the stop. Franklin in the purple and Wild Lake Central in the yellow. Wozniacki looks very, very stable. Good goalie. Salisbury with the, clearing, with the stick save there, clearing it to the boards. Battle now along the hard side and now taken by the Vikings. Dumped in by Brandon Bellavender, number nine. Franklin, let's see if we can do something right here. But again, you got three, four defenders right there, right on Johnny Parkinson, and just like that, well, well Franklin taking, whoa! He <laughs> zigged when he should have zagged. Yeah, Brandon Joyner knocking down that Franklin forward. Mm -hmm. There's a cross ice pass. Just the timing is just a little off, you know? Just a smidgen as Rutledge would just dump it in for Central. I mean, he had the nice, nice uh, cross ice pass. Yeah. And, uh, just a hair late. So the face off will stay, let's see, we'll be right outside the, looks like the Franklin Blue Line. Yep. It's Connor Stevenson and Again, Mr. Whitney battling that, and here comes Connor Stevenson with a shot that hits the netting, and the faceoff will be down deep, yep. coming off the defender's stick. Faceoff to the left of Matt Lomendo. And here comes Franklin. A little dump and chase. Witten, excuse me, the last line with Wallace up front for Franklin. 
trying to lead that rush, but once again, well, let's see if Franklin can hold it in. Nick Wood now, Wood had it, lost it. Franklin putting on the pressure. Attempted wrap around, knocked to the boards. Good defense for the Vikings. Yeah. You know, we've known, I think, since the beginning of the second period, whenever Franklin has come down, they've been able to clear, clear to the boards. There's a shot by Orman that goes wide. Knocked down with a high stick, no whistle. Last line, his cross ice pass goes Offside. with it. Too. Yep. <coughs> Gal now, Jordan Gal, his pass goes a bit too far. Watch it late, man. Nelson had it, lost it. Franklin making a line change right here as Central takes control of the puck. Nelson trying to block it, can't. And whoa. Central defender goes down. You gotta keep your head up in this game. Puck now, right along the near side. Here comes Nutting now. Brandon Nutting had it, lost it, stripped away by Joyner. Joyner, his pass for Kokovis goes too far. Wild Lake putting on some fresh legs now. Asterline had it, and, and, he, and he's offside. Yep. Got outside the zone. 12.57 remaining in this hockey game. Franklin trailing by one. Face off just outside the Franklin blue line. Here comes Connor Stevenson now. Stevenson knocked to the ice by Chase Herman, number 14 for Franklin. Herman. This pass for Anderson, mm. too far. Good job there, nice Brotherton. Idea. Nice idea, just execution is just not there. Lisner had it, lost it. Now Central controls it in their own zone. Pass intended oh, for Stevenson. Go. Give away. Intercepted. Oh, want to give it right back. <laughs> Intercepted by Lisner, and Central goes the other way. Rutledge had it, lost it. Battle right on the central blue line. Here comes Wood now. Wood, backhanded pass will be stopped right at the Franklin blue line. Central once again, a little give and go here between the blue lines. Oh, breakaway. There's a chance now. Lisner with a shot and Wozniki makes the stop. Ooh, a good scoring opportunity out of it, but yeah. I thought he could have gone another stride or two toward the net. Yep. But Franklin will put the pressure on because they'll get the face off where the face off will be just to the right of the Wild Lake goal. Mm. Wasseline, along with Wallace battling along the boards there. Cycling the puck down deep. Trying to get it out front. Trying out the one shot and they're out of there. Yeah. And there was nobody, well, nobody up front and Central takes over and it's cleared back to the neutral zone. And they got Ryan Callis back out there for Wild Lake. Well, that's not gonna give it out. Stevenson now. And Stevenson who had a helping hand on Vikings that long goal. There's a shot. It, cycling it down low. You got Orman, you got Callis right there and Stevenson up front. And now Franklin goes the other way. And Franklin's top line. Featuring, mm -hmm. oh, Wall, or Whitney knocked to the ice. Lasseline stole the puck, got it back again. Lasseline oh. over to <laughs> Whitney. And the pass is intercepted and Joyner will knock it down the ice. Mm -hmm. We got a penalty coming up. Penalty, yep. Like a rough on somebody. I think it's going to be on Franklin again. Uh. Last <laughs> line. <laughs> well, not good. <laughs> well, Frank, this is the fourth Franklin penalty and three times 
Trevor Lasseline has gone to the penalty Not line. quite the Gordy Howe hat trick. No. <laughs> you need a goal and assist for yeah. that. <laughs> so once again, Central goes on the power play. Franklin. Uh, Playing with fire yeah. here. You're giving, giving them so many opportunities with the power play. And that's without a can against Lee in the matches, too. Yeah. yeah. Shot. As you got the top line out there, got and, wood. wood and the Vikings do such a such a good job passing the puck around. But uh, Spence will not get into the corner. Got Spence and Wood at the top of the key. With Bellavender and battle right in front. There's a shot by Spence. Boy, how did Menendo see that? <laughs> and, and Menendo will just knock the <laughs> net off the moorings. So the action stops with 10.07 remaining in this contest. 1.22 remaining in the last line penalty for Franklin. And you got the top guns back out there for Central. Orman, Stevenson, and Callis. Well, heck yeah. <laughs> Lester Line had it, lost it. Now Orman. Dumping along the boards for Stevenson. He's got Callis off on the right side. Off to Callis. Callis coming in. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson to Callis on the give and go. Won't work. Joyner will pass it back in. There's an open chance for Orman. And Franklin will, will recover and kill some time. Wisner with a shot and Wozniki. Makes the block and will deflect off to the corner. Still 40 seconds left in the penalty. Yep. And here comes Central again. That was a nice play to gain the zone right there. They've obviously worked on that in practice a few times. Yep. Callis gets by Lisner. Callis, Lisner. Callis with a shot and Monendo. Good, good moves here by Ryan Callis. Yeah, they've, they've controlled yep. the puck the entire power play. Six. Frank, Franklin is very fortunate. The score is only one to nothing. Yep. They're only one shot away, but. Uh, yeah, you're right. Dude. On, this, on this particular situation, I think Central had at least two, maybe three good opportunities to cash in. Final seconds, though. Penalty's over. And here comes Central. Franklin back at full strength now. Let's see if they can get something going right here. Yeah, three on one. It's Whitney. Whitney over to Nutting. No, last line. Last line with a shot, and that's wide. Held in, though, by Parkinson. And once again, Central will control it. Wood gets by Nutting and Lasseline. Battle now, right near the Franklin bench. And the puck is dumped right behind the Franklin net as the Vikings go for a line change. Here comes Wallace, has the puck stripped by Esterline. Pass now to Rutledge, Rutledge, he's got White with him. White going into the corner now. Watch the late man. White, along the board, paddling along with, it looks like Parkinson. And Franklin will control it, and they clear it. And the Vikings are content to uh you know, work the puck down low, work it back and forth because uh, they've got the lead. Nope, and they're not sitting in their own neutral. I mean, they're no, using, they're, 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 they're down deep. They'll, they'll keep it down there the rest of the game if they can. Here's Callis again. Callis. Had it, lost it. Franklin goes the other way. Ooh. Nelson lost the handle on that. Central recovers. Seven minutes now remaining in this contest. Backhanded pass. Doesn't clear. There's a chance for Nelson. That's wide. 
and it's cleared. Icing waved off Franklin. And be careful, Cam Stevenson was coming right in for Central. He's, he saw the pass. I think Nelson was uh, signaling for the pass. Yep. Yeah, I think he saw Nelson out of the corner of his eye. Puck back in, deep inside the central zone. There's a centering pass, oh, nice and save. Wozniki makes the stop. Well, that's one of Franklin's best chances tonight. And it was, and uh, Mr. Anderson, Nick Anderson, number 20, had an opportunity, but the faceoff will remain inside the central zone. Best chance in a long time. Face off one again by Franklin. There's, there's a shot that goes wide. Pressure now. Lasseline stealing the puck. Lasseline centering pass. But Ooh, Whitney just wide. just wide. Moves puck in front, but Central recovers and they'll clear it. They had about three defensemen right there in front of the goal crease, keeping that puck away from Brendan Whitney. Central holds it in, but. Well, that was uh, a little. Uh Little oh, offside there. A little flurry of action for the Patriots. Yep. Great chance right there. See if they can get something organized here in the central zone. It's Whitney now. Whitney coming in with a wrister, and that that's deflected. Yeah, Dave. Here they come again. Centering pass for Wallace. Puck. It's kicked off his skate along the boards and it's clear. That'd be nice. Yep. It's not easy, you know. Sam Wozniki, uh, all the actions down the other end. It's, it's like Grant Fury, you know, back yeah. back with the Oilers with Gretzky. Yeah. Uh, they would spend 80% of the game in the offensive zone, and then someone would come in on a breakaway. Yeah. You got to be, you got to be, you know, got to got to be uh, ready, ready for anything. Yeah. Ready and alert, and well. Defender falls oh, down. There Here's a chance for Franklin. Mikowski now. Mikowski being screened. Loose puck in front. Whitney with a, a correction. Dewhurst with a shot that goes wide. Dewhurst. Dewhurst from the point. His shot deflected off to the yeah, corner. I think they're waiting just a little too long in the shot. You got to release it quickly. Yeah. Maybe they're they're getting the defenders all lined up. Yeah. Easier said than done. Well, they got Nelson in front. Nelson with oh, the back end. We got a penalty here. And I think it's going to be on Wild Lake. Number three. Yes, Connor Stevenson. So Franklin will go on their second power play of the game. And this is what I saw in the game against Huron. They were able to draw penalties against Huron, and they scored most of their goals in that 6-4 contest, 6-4 win. On the power the, play, on, yeah. Yep, the extra attacker. Let's see what they can do here, but Central will clear it. Here comes Callis now, racing with, with Dewhurst. Callis. He's got, he's got two Patriots tied up, and he's still got the puck. Yep. He's got Stevenson over on the blue line just in case. Nope. Yep. Stevenson almost took it away. And Dewhurst will have to regroup for Franklin. He's got an extra skater. They ought to be able to find somebody open. And Central just will just run out and do what you do. Central will dump it in. Kyle's is gonna. Kyle's <laughs> gonna sleep well tonight. Yeah, I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's Whitney now. Whitney back over to Lasseline. Pass for Wallace too far. Wallace had it, lost it. Now not pinned along the boards. Now, battle right in the corner there. Between Wallace, no correction. Yep. Now the puck comes loose. Mikowski has it. His shot right in the... There's a line there. Right in the pack of players. Wozniki, 40 seconds left in the say, penalty. Oh, say, that's a nice... I was going to say Wozniki was 
I was looking at Mikowski, looking at Wozniacki, and Wozniacki may have been screened for a second, but nevertheless, Puck never got close. Uh, they, tried the to catch, they tried to catch the Vikings on a change. They had everybody over at the bench, and uh, they just missed a long stretch pass. But I think, like you said, Bill, maybe that split second difference has been the difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's getting down. Three minutes left. It's time. Three minutes, 19 seconds. Time out. Franklin. And if you're just tuning in and watching this contest with Wild Lake Central leading at one to nothing, usually Franklin will wear their white uniforms that trimmed in red and blue. But tonight is, or today's game, is purple out night. First, the first purple out. First purple out, which, is, which I know they had um, co-sponsored uh, in cooperation with the American Cancer Society. They had a bake sale yep. before the game. And a, ra and a raffle during the contest and as raffle, well. raffle, 50-50. All the proceeds went to American Cancer Society. Which I think is a great cause. Oh, yes. Great cause. Selling T-shirts, selling brownies, cupcakes. And, of course, we see that on, on the softball side as well. Yes. When we've done the softball games with Stevenson, Churchill. So the faceoff will be inside the Franklin zone. So now we've got the number one line all rested. Yep. So they can finish up this power play. Uh oh, that's not good. Too far. Jordan Gale stripping that puck. Face off right outside the blue line. Cam Stevenson and Ryan Callis going back out for Wild Lake. And somebody get on the board. Wallace trying to keep that pressure inside mm -hmm. the central zone. It will not work as Central will clear it. 10 seconds left in the penalty. Time for one more rush. Cross ice pass for Whitney. Whitney's shot. Took a good shot there. Just a bit high. Whitney now has it. Nobody covering and Whitney centering pass. Nobody there. Held in though by Dewhurst. Whitney. And now's the time to pinch in, take some chances. Put Duke. it on net. You never know what may happen. Duke, uh -oh. <laughs> Dewhurst with a shot. And, and of course the other end, the other side of that coin is uh, you're going to give up. Odd man breakaways like this. There's a chance in Monundo will make the stop with 2.10 remaining. Face off, still deep inside, will be deep inside the Franklin zone. I thought we would see more goals tonight, partner. I thought so too. I thought so too, but uh, it's been the defense for both teams. Central keeping it in. Tended pass for Salisbury too far. Last line will keep it in behind Here the central. Menendo out of the net. Got the extra skater on. 142 remaining in this game. And that would be Wallace, that extra attacker. Puck back at center ice. Uh oh, there's your extra goal. <laughs> <laughs> Central don't set in and Spence knocks it back to center ice. Vaseline, his pass for Wallace. Too far, but Wallace will shoot it. Cleared away by Was Mickey. There's a shot and Wallace. Didn't miss by much poking that in. Another chance by this time by Dewhurst. And that's deflected. Held in though by Parkinson it cleared back into the neutral zone. Final minute of this hockey game. Here comes Nutting now. Nutting with Lasseline. Nutting. Fans on the shot. That's the puck rolls slowly towards the central net, and it's covered up by Sam Wozniacki. 
49 seconds remaining. Mm, number one line back out there once again. And timeout, Central. Gary Quidequick, Long Lake head coach, talking things over and strategy with this team. His kids have played a good game. Yeah. Both teams have played a good game. Great game. But I know you mentioned a moment ago about seeing more offense, but actually great defense. I mean, this was oh, a yeah. strat. Yeah. Yeah. They, they both, uh, both teams played good, good defense. I think, uh, you know, the Vikings have had by far more chances, but the last yeah. half of the third period here, I think the Franklin uh, has, you know, put forward a little bit of offense. They have. And they've had a few chances to tie the game. But I think that second period where the lone goal was where Central had the oh, oh, I, I, control. I, I, I think, you know, the end of the first period when uh, they had the three two, penalties in uh, a row. Yep. Or the two, two penalties, penalties in a row. Yep. Kind of took the win out of their sales. Exactly. Yeah. It, it messes up the lines and Let's see what they can do with the last 50 seconds here. Central winning the faceoff, but controlled by Franklin. There is a chance for Wallace in front. Can't control the puck. Centering pass. Whitney now with a shot. That's deflected. There is a chance, and Callis, is, Callis was one who made that stop earlier. Now Franklin with another chance. Puck loose in uh -oh. front. Here comes That'll Central it. now. Pass it over, pass it over. Callis. And the pass goes a bit too far into the corner. It goes. Centering pass for Callis. Franklin will clear it to the side and back out it goes. Esterline will take a shot and that goes wide. Final 10 seconds now. Franklin. Pass up to Nelson. His shot goes wide. And that will do it as the Wild Lake Central Vikings come away victorious, and they go and congratulate their goaltender, Sam Wozniki, in an exciting contest. As they should. As well they, played game. As Wild Lake Central beats Livonia Franklin one to nothing. All right. Well, so the um, Patriots drop back to uh, 500, and uh, the Vikings uh, improve to one game over 500. But even though it was just a one-goal game and only had one goal period, Going back to what we just mentioned just a moment ago, I, those two penalties, even though it, yeah, it's back not showing like back that, that. It, it, it really does mess with the, the you know, the lineups and that. Somebody's got to sit, yeah. and uh, you never get into a rhythm. And Franklin got a bit out of rhythm in that second period, and they were able to play a little catch-up back in the third period, but a little too late because the central defense was just a little too much. Yeah, yeah, well-played game. And on that note, we want to say thank you to all of you at home for tuning in and watching this exciting hockey contest between these two high school teams, Livonia Franklin and Wald Lake Central. And for the entire crew behind the scenes here at the Eddie Edgar Arena here in Livonia, Michigan, as well as for Mr. Bill Tyler, this is Neil Rifkin saying so long for Sports Spotlight.